We still have three minutes. We'll start over three to four minutes. I'm starting in a minute. Just wait for one minute more and I will start. Because I don't want to get it disturbed in between, so I'm just waiting one minute. Then we'll start. Maximum one material. Okay, so let me start till the people who join will see. So hello everyone, thank you for joining. Today is our B twenty first batch session one, right? So this session is not a demo session. I again repeat to all of you in my WhatsApp groups, there are more than 5,000, 6,000 people on the WhatsApp. There are thousands of people on Facebook and YouTube, right? I just want to tell you this is not a uh, demo session. This session is what that what we are going to learn. The focus, you all, hopefully you all receive my email. This training is mostly focused on how to crack your interviews. Reason is the actual learning you learn when you start working somewhere because you have two motivational factors. First, you are definitely you are earning something. Once you earn, then it's better it motivates you to learn a good new things. Database is all about data. We are playing with data. We have lots of data in around when we write our SQL queries, debug issues from YouTube from any website and from your test data. You can maximum create 10, 100, 200 records. Real scenario, millions of records are there. When you can work on millions of millions of records, when you see the millions of records in the production, then only you are able to see how to write SQL queries. What is SQL? What I'm doing here? Then you learn from there only. So we'll start from there. In the first session, as I told you, I don't want to give any specific lecture just to make an impression like performance tuning, procedure, function, ref cursor. I don't want to do this. Go step by step does not matter you take my sessions you take from anywhere else uh, this is my one thing i want to tell you everyone is start from scratch it will take a month one month maximum your whole topic will be revised and then when you go for interview 
and each and every question will be covered after every session you all will be receive notes that notes is enough to crack an interview first i am tell you what myself my name is vishal and uh, i am not a professional trainer if you all can see my screen uh, just see this i am opening my linkedin profile i am not a professional trainer i am working as a database architect in a company right i have around more than 18 year of experience right you all can follow on me uh, on linkedin if you want you can send me your request i will accept and we will follow each other on on uh, linkedin as well so i have more than 18 year of experience working as a database industry and whatever i am going to deliver is all about my experience i do not have any ppt i do not have any such you know uh, curriculum but but i know the topics which i have to deliver i took around 1000 interviews i gave an it took around 1000 interviews so i have full idea what exactly going on interviews how to crack interviews more focused on how to crack technical interviews how to answer so we'll start from the first topic we we'll start from the topic right i am not going to waste any time we will start from the topic this topic we are going to start these are the chapters i am going to start one by one each topic we will do never do random topics again i am repeating to everyone does not matter you take classes from me or not but if you prepare by yourself again don't do any random sessions random classes will actually never help you never okay in my sessions when i am repeating let me open one of my previous batch class suppose i am writing here b19 or b20 is going on for example right after every session you all will receive notes like this you can see what about 32 38 39 31 everything whatever we discuss in the session everything coming like this you all will receive the notes that notes is enough notes is what nobody has time to go and read the 60 hours of video nobody has 60 hours time but you have notes in front of you whatever we discuss in the class whatever we discuss they all will take a print screen and store it to the database so all you all will receive the when you open the notes everything will be revised to you any notes if you can open any notes you can open notes everything whatever we discuss same thing coming here i try to deliver my concept as per my experience level whatever we are discussing they all print a screen coming and you all will receive in the notes as well every day after the session just like i can open any session suppose i am discussing views what is views how to answer which type of questions are coming how to answer them we will give the example running check option giving the examples whatever we are discussing in the class all theoretical practical thing everything coming here why to answer what is triggers how to answer trigger how why this is coming you all will receive all these things into your notes every day after the session ends and again i am repeating only my notes are enough most of the time random websites can give you wrong knowledge right just like people are discussing can we write commit inside a trigger or not this question is very important question and almost all websites say that you cannot write commit inside a trigger because it's a, you have to write pragma to most transaction but actually this is the wrong concept you can write so this all is small small things when you know how to answer into the interview how to go for interview which question you have to answer challenge yourself what question you have today so these all question you have to prepare one by one each topics so we'll go one by one each topics we are going in this session saturday and sunday anybody misses any class if they let me know in advance i will record the session and give it to you everyone if so for for performance tuning i will take around 8 to 10 hours of lecture or performance tuning and i will make sure you all can speak 20 minutes without stopping in performance tuning basic concept i focused how to write sql queries that i focused right how to answer questions that i focused my main motto is i want to want to crack the interview and not only for interview the relation is not to each other like not only just for in interview and all these things whenever you have any help anything you need in your project you are working somewhere and you think that okay let's discuss with vishal you can ping me one to one i am available if any class miss and if you want that you can discuss with me one to one you all can ping me any time without hesitation i am living in us so maybe our timing is little bit different so maybe you ping me and i am not available that time maybe i was sleeping and something you can tell vishal let's meet after 5 hours 4 hours tomorrow i will definitely come I mean there is no guarantee that directly i can come at the right away but yes maybe 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours after vishal will be there to help you this is how we are going for 
cracking interviews divide your chapters one by one start from one topic never think that okay i know about it it's okay that you know about it but again go through that topic so that you don't have to revise it and you crack the interviews right every sql is a trick i will teach you how to write sqls this is all about tricks database is all about english if you know english you know about 50% of the database focus on how to translate your requirement to english english to sql i will help you there i will give you tricks how to write sql so let's start first of all many people ask me shall how to download oracle what to do to learning all rdbms are same rdbms means relational database management system all are same they all are different different brands just like we can go for buying a shoes so we can buy for nike we can buy for adidas from puma bata so many companies i choose any one just like so many database companies oracle microsoft mysql informix db2 maria db postgres sql gupta db lots of databases i choose oracle because i most i worked on that but all databases are same and i will tell you how to make your resume in your resume never make your resume like you are working in microsoft sql server from last 5 years working in oracle from never do like this because all are same you are a database professional try to learn how to market yourself right as good you are able to market you are able to crack as good salary in the same project three people are working for example and all are senior software engineers but all have different different salaries you know why because one person is able to sell himself in a better way just like you are selling so just to know how to sell yourself no need to install any database on your machine you just need a laptop you need internet you have to go through here live sql.oracle.com i will send this url in the notes today you have to go here if you don't have account just click here create account once you create account a new page will be open on this page if anybody any problem you can ping me one to one at the time of doing and i will definitely help you you can create your email address password retype password job title can be anything that's okay company name can be anything that's okay does not matter it does not give you any error right so any random thing you can work you can create your account after creating your account you can user and password you can sign in your database start working this is a database a live database this database has latest ins already installed you don't have to install anything we have the tables here suppose example hr.employees we have all the tables we have all the data we don't have to worry that how to take the data how to pick the data how i am in creating tables and all everything is here so i will give you this uh, url you all can create your account if any issue let me know this is a free tool that contains oracle latest version is working on oracle latest version right so if any question anything you all can let me know okay let's start from the database first i am talking about tables my class is start from the basic i'm again telling you start from the base go to advanced you all receive my notes right i will take each topic each okay okay i will take each topic one by one with all permutation and combination of questions possibly ask suppose for example if i finish function so all question related to the function will be covered you don't go anywhere else other than my notes if i if i uh, finish a topic procedure all the questions all the permutation and combination of question possibly asked that will be covered so remember this funda to wherever you you learn you learn from scratch each topic each and every possible scenario for example what are tables right there is a question coming in the interview difference between first interview question difference between heap organized table index organized table first interview question from tables each topic we will learn i am not give question and answer like pdf i am not giving you a uh, just question answer thing we will go with topic we will learn how to write trigger we will learn how to write functions how to write procedures packages sql queries you will receive few uh, questions answer exercise from me as well and i will help you of solving and helping you first one understand what exactly that that uh, tables are table is a basically the basic fundamental of the database basic fundamental means what table some something like suppose in a house we have almira covered where we store our clothes right where we store our clothes 
the same thing how we store our clothes in the database in our home same like we have tables where we store data data means this employee id phone number email id whatever data any information raw information about particular thing is stored somewhere that is called a table table are the basic fundamental which store the data data is stored into it just like this suppose we have excel sheet for example this is excel sheet in the excel sheet i am storing said i am saying here is my id here is my name in excel i am storing id 1 name vishal id 2 name jaiswal these are called column and these are called rows very basic things but that's okay you must have to know about all the things so these are called tables the basic fundamental which store the data because data is the thing where we are working and data is the thing where we are working storing we are database person right database professional our work is to play with data this is the only our work is there are four types of table into the database right one is called heap organized Heap organized. Forget about spelling mistake. Maybe there is a spelling mistake. Is possible. Heap organized. Second is index organized. Organized. Third is external table. And fourth is temporary table. The people who are experienced people here, right? The session. In my session, there are many person from fresher to twenty years experience. They all joining my classes. I am telling you how to answer the questions. Many people knows about temporary tables. The people who don't know, I'm starting from scratch. Don't worry. Temporary tables. Everybody know about GTT, global temporary table, on committee lead rows, on committee preserve rows. You know, 99% of the people who are going for interview, they are giving this answer. That temporary table means global temporary table, GTT, where we can do on committee lead rows, on committee preserve rows. But when you go for interview. Actually, now temporary table have two types of global temporary table and private temporary table gtt and ptt gtt is on commit delete rows and ptt is on commit drop tables the table is drop this concept only 1% person, person is able to give the answer and that your answer make you different from others and make you better salary than other people so always focus on each and every concept the very important question in the interview temporary table One of them. If you just go and ask top fifteen interview question, you are getting temporary tables here. Okay, let's go to first thing. Four types of table in hell: heap organize, index organize, external table, temporary table. Heap organize means what? Heap organize table means any types of table. Suppose in our house, right? We have a uh, suppose this is my house. We have a dining table, right? Which looks like this. We have a breakfast table, which looks like this. We have a study table, which looks like this maybe we have a dressing table which just like a mirror and we have a small setting like it different different types of table at our house for different different purpose same like in same like in the database with different different tables for different different purpose heap organize heap organize means consider in your house there is a table like your dining table and you put your plates here for eating food right suppose and your kid is coming and he just came from outside he put your bag here he go inside the house you came from the and you put your car keys here you put you go into your house suppose something your books is here means there is a table which you can every person like i'm talking about indians so normally we have a table in our house which can use for multi purpose just like in a top of the fridge on the top of the fridge we have keys also on the car keys on top of fridge on the office id on the top of the fridge in the same like we have tables Where we can just putting everything dump here, right? Everything, anything comes and it inserted in new row is called heap organized table. So normal table which we are creating by default, they are heap organized table. It means whenever a new data is coming, a new row inserted into the table, heap organized table. Whenever a new data is coming, a new row inserted into the table, that is called heap organized table. By default, heap organized table will be created. Heap organized table. All tables are heap organized. It means, or I can insert a new row when it get a new data. Or I can insert a new row whenever it get a new data. A new row inserted every time. Heap organized table. One of the most important question in the interview from table. Difference between heap organized, index organized. What is temporary tables? These questions from tables. Each topic has all permutation combination questions. We will learn. 
If I'm talking about heap organized, means what to understand? Every table by default is a heap organized. Heap organized means unsorted data. Data just come and put anywhere. My my kid coming and he, he just put here his toys. My wife came, he, he just put here her bag purse. I came, I put my car keys. My plates are here. My books are here. There is a table which contains everything in an unsorted way. Heap organized. By default, every table is heap organized table. Whenever a new row coming, a new data coming, data Oracle insert a new row in it, in normal tables, right? You, you can see this is called heap organized table. What is index organized table? This is the first question in the interview. Index organized table, index organized table will discuss more when I'm discussing about indexing, right? I can discuss more about the index organized table. Index organized table is what? It keeps data sorted according to its primary key. I will discuss about all what is primary key and everything. I will not focus much here. We'll discuss when I discuss indexing, then again I focus there. But I just given these differences between these two, so I'm letting you know. Index organized table means it is stored data as per their primary key in a sorted order. Think about it, the benefit. For example, if, if this table is so many stuff here, if I have to find out where are my keys, so I just, there are hundreds of stuff here. I have to find out where is keys, where is keys, where is keys. If this table is organized, organized means there is a table. My keys coming here. All the keys people come and store here. All the toys, my coming store here. All this wallet coming store here. So if I have to find out keys, I directly go here and out of these four key, one key is mine. I don't have to go anywhere. It will call index organized. Data is organized as per their primary key. Data is organized here already. It is very, but selection is very faster. Means I have to pick data is very fast because everything is organized. It stores somewhere in an organized way. Like on my table, if I know in my dining table, I'm storing so many things, but all keys is one, one side, all toys in one side, all books one side, all plates one side, all bowl one side. It is very easy for me to pick something because data is organized. But when the data is picked, means when the data is stored, at that time it takes time. I cannot put randomly keys here. I have to go in a particular place and put my keys here only. So it will take time in storing the data, but fetching the data is faster. That is called index organized table. Mainly reason is index organized table is to enforce the uniqueness primary key because data is shorted and improve the performance. Because considering the whole table is based on indexing. So table gives you fast data. So I, I don't give, I will not go more on uh, index organized table. When I discuss in the, even in the notes, I will give you this thing. Everything, whatever we are discussing, no need to note it down anything. You will all will receive the notes. So whenever I'm talking about how do you know that this table is index organized table? Second interview question. How do you know this table is heap organized and this table is index organized? How do you know? So heap organized table is a normal table. But in case of index organized, whenever we key index organized table, we always have this keyword organizational organization, organization index. This keyword will be there at the time of table creation. We have this. It means this table is an index organized table. External table. By files from external, like our Excel, our XLS data, or some other field, I'm, some other file I'm taking data into my database. External table, temporary table. I will discuss external tables is a very big topic. We'll discuss in the last today. Maybe you're not able to understand temporary table again. I will take later. First question is the most important question coming from table is difference between heap organized, index organized. I hope that is next thing I'm talking about. Somebody ask any question? No. Next time I'm talking about, there's a concept of SQL. What is SQL? How many types of SQL statement? SQL is what? SQL is a structured query language. Structured query language. There's a language by which me and you can talk. For example, for example, just take, for example, I'm taking any, any example. Suppose I'm taking name, I can see Sandeep Panjal. I take Sandeep example. For example, Sandeep is, I'm, I know only two languages, Hindi and English. Maybe Sandeep knows English and Telugu. He don't know how to talk. So how can me and Sandeep can talk to each other? We have a common thing, a common language that is English by which me and he can talk to each other. This is, this is a way of communication. Same like 
SQL is a structured query language by which we are talking to the database. For example, suppose this is my table and I want all data. If I tell, give me all data of employee table, right? It will not give me any data because my this language is not, if I'm running this, it will give me error. In a, because this is not a language. Suppose Telugu is a language. If I go and any, anything, whatever I speak, it doesn't mean this is tel Telugu. I must have to understand the word, how this, how pronunciation is coming, what exactly the word mean. So same if I talk to the database, I am telling select star from hr.employees. This is called SQL. In this language, I am talking to the database and saying select means give me, star means everything from this table. This language is called SQL, structured query language by which we are talking to each other. Me and database, the user is communicate with the database to fetch the data, to work with data that is called SQL. There are many different types of SQL. We are only focused on three. DDL, DML, TCL. DDL means what? Data definition language. Data definition language. DML, data manipulation language. TCL, transaction control language. Only three things will focus. DDL, data definition means what? Everything that will create, alter, drop, truncate. We'll discuss about everything, don't worry. And all the questions coming from here, each and every topic. Create, alter, drop, com, drop, truncate, they are DDL command, data definition. DML means only three. So you just remember DML. Insert, update, delete. These three are DML commands. Other than that, whatever you can see, mostly your create, alter, drop, truncate, all these things are DDL command, data definition language. Every DML command is always followed by commit or rollback. Commit or rollback. Means if I'm typing insert or update or delete, I have to do commit or rollback. Commit means permanent save into the system. Rollback means revert it back. There's another thing also, save point also. Save point means till a particular point I want to save. I will give example, you understand it in few minutes. DML, insert, update, delete, these three commands. This DML will be always followed by commit and rollback. Commit means permanent save into the system. Rollback means revert back. I can revert back whatever I did. There is a question coming in the interview, second question. Difference between DDL and DML. What DDL? Data definition language. DML, data manipulation language. DDL is basically what? It defines the attributes of the column when I'm creating a table. Suppose I'm creating a table, create table employee. This is DDL, right? Alter table employee, DDL. Drop table employee, truncate table, DDL. DDL does not require commit. Next interview question somebody can ask him, right? I am altering a table, means alter means change. Suppose I, we are going to the tailor and say alter my pant, alter my shirts, whatever. Altering means something that exists, I am doing a change. Third interview question, I am altering my table, right? And I thought I am altering a table and adding a column. I alter my table and add a new column. And But I don't want it. Can I do a rollback? Rollback means revert back. Always remember, the answer will be no. Because alter is only, alter is auto commit. These are auto commit. Means automatically save into the system. Once you do create, alter, drop and truncate, you don't need to commit specifically. Data will be committed automatically. Once you do insert, update, delete, you have to commit the database. For the people having one year, two year experience, this question coming in interview that you have a table A, the table contains 1000 records, right? A user, a user, suppose user X will insert 100 records into this table. But another user Y, when he try to see, he cannot see the data. Why? He already inserted 100 record insert successfully. But another user Y not able to see the data because you are you are doing an insert command. Insert always need commit. If I don't do commit, data is not permanent save. Nobody else other than this user can see on that session. The data is still in the session. If you want the data should be permanent save into the system, we need a 
commit command once you committed then only user y can see the data into the system third interview question for the people less than one year experience or two year experience right i focus from zero year to 20 year experience person so don't worry the next question i'm coming is for all experience level 2 to 20 years for the table level to see this what is happening here i am talking about the database i am talking about the concept of ddl and dml if i try to alter the command my database will be remember ddl means create alter drop truncate these are auto commit permanent save when i am writing insert update and delete insert update or delete i need to commit the data into the system i have to commit data into the system otherwise anybody else cannot see the data if i want the people can see the data we have to commit the data into the system for this we need commit command insert update delete next interview question i am going to ask this is for all level zero year to two year interview asking question like this i have a table in the table, I insert a record 1 or 2. My table has 0 record. Then I create an index. Sorry. For example, let's see this example. I am writing begin end. The reason is live SQL is a free environment that is auto commit. I don't want to do auto commit, so I am writing a begin end here. For you who have SQL developer or PL SQL install, you don't need to do that. But in live SQL, because a free tool, this way everything is auto commit. Because I'm doing it a transaction. I will let you know when I discuss that transaction part. I'm writing here. Let me create a table first. Create table table name. C R E A T E. Create table. Then I'm writing ID. I'm writing number. Create table table name. ID number. What does it mean? I'm coming on this part in two minutes. I have a table created, right? I'm adding a question, insert into A values. This is how we are inserting the data. Insert into A values, I'm writing one. This is the fourth interview question. It's very common. They can ask you any person. So I have one, two, three. I'm writing a rule back. I created a table, table created. Table created is create means DDL command. DDL means auto commit. Data committed into the system. Now insert record one, insert record two, insert record three. Then I make a rollback. Rollback means put it back. Once I do this, once I do this, there is no data stored into the system. There is no data stored into the system. Everybody can see that. Let me run this a statement processed a statement process. Then going is select a star from a give me all data from a there is no record. Why no record no data from because you insert the record and then you roll back roll back means revert back data gone. Whatever you inserted data gone that is revert back. If I do a commit here. Commit means permanent save. Once something is committed, that cannot be rolled back. Once, no need to note down anything. I will, whatever we are discussing, all print screen will be captured and you all will be receive the email. Once something is committed, we cannot roll back. Suppose I'm running this command again. Done. What is happening here? If you see this in this scenario, I make a commit. Commit means permanent save once something is committed through the we no impact we cannot roll back something is committed means committed data done when i go select star from me now i can see that i have three record into the table one two three three record into the table data go into the system almost every people know about it now let's go to the next question this question coming into the interview suppose i have another table or suppose i have Interviewer is saying, I have a table. My table contains three records. We know that, right? Currently, I'm inserting a record one, inserting a record two, and I'm creating an index on another table. Suppose I have one more table. Let me create one more table. Create table B. 
Priority will be. I am creating an index here. Execute immediate. The people who don't know what is execute immediate, what is uh, uh, index creation, don't worry about index creation. They can. The question will basically interview will ask you when once you go for interview, you definitely know about all these things. But this question is related to the DDL and DML. That's I'm giving you. Create index index name on table B ID column. That's it. I make a rollback. Now understand it here what is happening. My table already has three records. You can see this. Select star from A. I have table record number one, two, three. I'm inserting record four. I'm inserting record five. I create an index and insert a record six. I make a rollback. One of the most common interview questions they can ask you on any experience level. Once I run this, how many records inserted in my table? Are you getting my question, everyone? Everyone getting my question, what I'm trying to teach you? Again, let me explain my question again. I have a table. My table contains three records. I'm inserting one record, one more record, and then I'm creating an index. Interviewer can tell you anything. Creating index or creating sequence or altering my table or dropping some other table or truncating some other table, anything, any DDL command, any DDL command, this is DDL. I have inserted two DML, then I make a DDL, then I make one more DML, and then I make a rollback. So what is happening? Because rollback means what? What we learned? That rollback means revert back. Rollback used for insert, update, delete. Only remember about these three things. Insert, update, and delete. These these three are DML commands, data manipulation language. And this DML command needs commit or rollback. Commit means permanent save. Rollback means revert back. If you do revert back, data will be reverted back. Nothing inserted, nothing updated, nothing deleted. If we commit, then data will be permanent commit into the system. If something is committed, you cannot roll back. These are the basic, basic concept. Okay. Now see, the concept is here. Once we fire any DDL command, remember this answer. Once this question is very common. If you go and find this question, top 20 interview question, this question is very common. But interviewer asks this question to the interview, right? Because we just want to see that how much you prepare first. The people giving answer, most of people give his correct answer that, sir, because you fire a DDL, DDL will insert. The main basic concept of the DDL is once DDL fire, the property of a DDL is, please listen carefully, the property of the DDL is once DDL fire, it ought to commit everything. Run. Before this DDL fire, these two records will be committed into the system. After DDL fire, DDL means when this done, basically commit done. Then this six coming and roll back. This, this roll back is only impact this before these two records will be committed. If I go to set star from A, you can see we have five records. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three already. Four and five inserted. Why inserted? Because I run a DDL command. DDL means, this is, create means DDL. What is, only you know, insert, update, delete. These are DML. Other than that, whatever you see for your understanding purpose, just understand DDL command. Create, alter, drop, truncate. These all are DDL. I run a DDL. DDL is auto commit. Once DDL fire, the property of DDL is it will first auto commit. It will commit this and this. These records are committed. Committed means permanent save into the system. So record number four, record number five, save. After this, this will run insert and then roll back. This roll back is only roll back this. It will not revert back these two commands because it is committed. And once something is committed, we cannot roll back. Record number four, record number five, insert into the system. Almost 99% of the public give this answer to the interview. Interviewer are very... His next question is... Interviewer next question is... Okay, good. Suppose my DDL fail. Suppose my DDL fail. Let me do let me do this here. I can see in my table I have five record. One, two, three, four, five. Till here, question available on so many websites on top 20 interview question. My DDL fail. 
I am inserting, for example, here six, here seven, here eight. I am running this command. This time my DDL fail. Interview question. What happen if your DDL fail? Let's see this here. It gives you error. Name is already used by an existing object. We just created this index few minutes before. I again try to get index. It gives error. My DDL is failed. Interview question. Okay, you are saying that because of this DDL, DDL is auto commit. So DDL will committed everything which is inserted. Agree. Suppose my DDL fail, then what happen? Scenario based question. Interview level zero year to twenty year. Anybody, this question can be asked. Right. What is happening now? Anybody's idea? What happened in the DDL field? No commit will happen. No, it's committed. Surely it will not be inserted. Okay. If the DDL fail is if the DDL is fail other than syntax issue. See here, this DDL is correct. DDL fire. It fail because the table is already exist. There's no problem with the DDL. DDL is correct. We are not able to create index because the index is already created. So property of DDL is once please mute. If you are not speaking, please mute. The property of DDL is if DDL fire, if DDL fire, it will first commit. Even if your DDL fail, even if your DDL fail, other than syntax issue means if there is no syntax issue, it means yes, this is DDL. Database recognized that you are DDL. Database recognized that you are DDL. It means data definition language. It means your property is that you will first commit, and then try to create index and say, okay, this name is already exist, so I will not create the index again. Error is name is already exist. Means database recognized that you are a DDL, so it will commit the record. I can see that it gives error, but when I go to the database, my record number six and seven will be inserted into the system. Six and seven inserted to the system. Again, new new interview question. Interview says here, suppose there is a problem in the syntax. My why your DDL fail? If your DDL fail because of which reason? If the DDL fail because of index, suppose I am inserting eight. Suppose I am inserting a record eight. I am inserting a record nine. I am inserting a record for example ten. I run this. Now this DDL fail again, but this time. This DDL fail because it not recognized you are a DDL. The syntax is issue missing on keyword. Syntax issue is here. It is not a DDL. It's not a correct language. Like DDL means what? A SQL, a structured query language, a language by which we are talking to the database. That hello database. I want to create an index. So what you say? Create index index name on table. I will discuss about index and all. Don't worry. I will discuss about this execute immediate in a proper way. Right. So here, this DDL fail, but database is not recognized. You are not a DDL. You are not a DDL. So what is happening is it will not insert this record because DDL not fired at all. You can see the record number eight and nine is not inserted. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. And the interview question is coming here to this just to find out what is happening. This is fourth interview question. This question is very common. Remember that DDL is auto commit. Once DDL is fire, the property of DDL is it will committed everything what happens before it. Data will be committed. Interview question is happening here. The interviewer ask a question like this to the interview. Let me repeat this question again. I have a table. My table contains ten records. I inserted record eleven, record twelve, and then I do alter, alter table, any other table, or alter table. Or he can say maybe I can create a sequence, or maybe I can say I create an index, or maybe I can say trunk any DDL fire, and then he say I will do rollback. How many record into the table now? So your answer is sir, because. You inserted record eleven and twelve, and then after you fire a DDL command. So property of DDL is it is auto commit. So it will insert this record eleven and twelve. This rollback has no impact because something is committed. You cannot roll back. My table contains twelve records. Interviewer say okay because this question is common. 
And it was okay. Suppose my this DDL fail. DDL fail. Then what happened? Then you are saying if this DDL fail other than syntax issue. If this DDL fail other than syntax issue means it is a DDL database recognized that you are a DDL. Right? Then it's still DDL fire. This record inserted. If it is if it is any syntax issue, means database not able to recognize that you are a DDL, this alter will be fail. And this, sorry, this DDL will be fail. If DDL fail, nothing will be inserted into the system. This rollback work. This is the answer of this question. How to do that? Okay, let's go back to the next topic. I'm talking about here in the database, right? We are go topic by topic. Each topic, all permutation of questions we're asking. Looks like I'm again, I'm telling you one thing. Sometimes we think these are very basic thing. But when you start working in a project or whoever working in a project, you can see that 40% of your daily routine work is all about base concept. Why I'm telling everybody to focus on basic concept? Your 40% of everyday work is based on your base concept. If you remember, in a real-time, very big project, wherever you're working, so many procedure, function, triggers, packages, actually they are doing what? They are doing either they are select something or they are insert something or they are update something or they are delete something. That's it. They are doing only these four things. Sometimes we are saying in my project, I'm working in a very uh, large volume of project, millions of data and my job fail, my ETL job fail. What is happening? You go to the log. Once you go to the log and see the error, the error is from the basic concept. Either duplicate value inserted, foreign key not found, insert clause missing, something data is already present, all base concept. Your 40% of the daily routine work coming from the base. So focus on the base concept. In an interview, you are getting your 40% question from the base concept. And this is 0 or 1. If you are this question wrong, you are not selected at all. It does not matter how good you are. But if you don't able to answer this DDL and DML, you are not selected for sure, 200% sure. It's okay if you're not able to answer triggers. But it is not okay if you're not able to answer how truncate and commit is behaving. Right? Then it's not okay. If you don't know how these joints are behaving and we're able to answer what is uh, packages and how to do performance tuning, you are not selected at all for sure. So basic concept, there is no chance of missing. Focus one by one. When we create a table, basically what is happening? Let me tell you something about data types. Suppose I'm getting a table in front of you. Create table employee. Create table table name. Database is very simple. They will never change. Create table table name. Create index index name. Create sequence sequence name. Create function function name. Create procedure procedure name. Create package package name. Exactly same. There is nothing different. If you know one, you know everything. And database is pure English. I make a bracket here. First of all, I'm telling you, right? In a normal project work, in a production environment, if you are very lucky, if you are very lucky, then maybe after 10, 15 years of experience, you may get a chance to create it. It looks like very easy. People think getting a table is very easy. But I'm telling you, if you are very lucky, then maybe you get a chance to create a table in a production after 10, 15 years of experience. Right? Because the database design. Why we are focusing, when we discuss about data modeling, Data modeling is three of conceptual model, logical model, physical model. I'll discuss about data modeling when the classes will come. We are basically working as developer on physical model. When the data is present, table is present, working and going with the data, creating insert, record, delete, record, physical model we are working. Main table creation or conceptual logical model, the database architects, senior person, the business person, product owners, stakeholders, they come into the picture to design what I need in a table. Have you ever think in your project, suppose there is a table, transactional table, who decided that this table contains these 10 columns in this format, stores this type of data? These are not easy things, right? The people who decided that table creation time, they know about the business, what is going to the business. So don't know about all about all of it. So understand this question. Let's see which type of questions are coming. Create table, table name. Let me create a table. I'm writing here employee ID. It means in my table, I have a column employee ID. This is called data type. It means, was here. I am getting a table. 
this column name employee id and here i am storing numbers here i am storing numbers so this is called data type which type of data data type means which type of data i am storing that is called number that is called uh data suppose a number is a number is a data type suppose like i am writing e name let me tell you there is a very good question coming in interview difference between worker and worker two i am telling you so many questions each and every topic once you learn take a topic our first four sessions will go dedicated to all basic concept right when we discuss about foreign kid tomorrow class please don't miss it when i discuss delete and truncate right don't miss the session it will help you a lot because this question is very common delete and truncate and i will let you know how to do this see when you giving the interview everyone i'm just want to tell you sorry to interruption middle you and interviewer we are you both are not meeting on any tinder or any uh, any any dating website no you are there for a technical discussion you have 50 minutes of time maximum because in one hour interview first 5 minute tell me about yourself last 5 minute ask me some question you have 50 minutes where you have to impress to the interviewer if you remember if everybody can watch that uh, the movie chak de india from sarukh khan right what is saying if you play your best 70 minutes of hockey nobody will stop you nobody will defeat you right see if you give your 50 minutes you have what you have to do you know you have to take the ball in your court always means you have to force to the interviewer ask me this question you know this is called tricks data based tricks if you just give one line answer and keep sitting it means if you are giving interviewer chances to ask me as much question as you want you don't have to do that you know how to answer always learn how to answer what to answer everybody knows if you go to google ask the question what to answer is written on the google what is the answer how to answer focus here you have to force interviewer okay remember in the cricket because i am given example of cricket because in india everybody knows about cricket in a cricket a bowler bowled away the batsman hit in the boundary and he catch out and credit goes to the bowler he got a man of match and all these things you know why because bowler actually forced the batsman to hit the ball in this direction i have played here this is what you have to do you have to force the interviewer to ask me this question because i know this topic how do you do that this is all about tricks i will teach you all the tricks how to crack interviews right who is not in my batch or first time coming to the group this is my 21st batch you all can go and ask the questions into the open question the random groups we are joined there are so many people yeah, yeah, yeah. there are so many people in every batch who joined who joined my batch you can ask them how to give the interviews right i always teach you how to answer right and only my notes are enough again i am repeating you don't have to go anywhere right e name so what's next column I'm writing varchar to thirty. I'm coming here. What is this varchar to? Just let me get a table. I'm getting suppose A is is a number. I'm getting suppose sex is character four. I'm discussing two questions here. First of all, difference between care and varchar. I will discuss how to care and varchar behave. What is this? This is called capacity. You know, it looks like very easy. but i'm telling you every day most of the etl job fails right or my job fail in a real time production environment 90% of the issue you know what that the, the file who is coming it try to insert a data which more than what is here, here we are defining so if you know this how this behave it help a lot always focus on basic thing it help you a lot database is pure english we just have to just read that particular error message i will teach you all don't worry read the error message and from that error message you are able to debug and troubleshoot and you just need the basic concept that's it okay so just give me one second somebody just give me one second okay so here see this number means number 0 to 9 anything is a number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's it this is number 
all the combinations. Suppose I'm saying my roll number is 50. This is a number data type. If I'm talking about my roll number is B50, it is not number, it is where care. Where care means a string, A, B, C, D, alphabet, anything, anything that is called alphabet that is called a string. A string A, B, C, D, normally it will take any other special characters as well. But here now just understand the basic thing about where care. Where care means variable characters. I'm telling you the question come on this difference between, I will, what I'm going to teach you, difference between care and where care. I'm going to teach you difference between where care and where care too. These both are important questions. So when I'm getting a table, I focus on these two questions. Okay. So let's see this. This 30 is what? Capacity. Capacity means maximum 30 character allowed into this database, into this particular column. More than 30, it gives error. Well, let's take one small one. So we're taking 10. 10 means capacity 10. Let me create this table. This table created. How to insert data and which type of error is coming? Let's discuss about this topic. Insert into employee. This is how we're writing discuss insert data. Insert into employee. I'm writing values here. Employee ID is a number. I'm inserting one. Employee name is always coming to the single quotes. I'm writing suppose this. Right? Any 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 character. Suppose let a little bit small first. Age, I'm inserting support 30. Sex, I'm inserting support male. Care and where care always come into the single quotes. There's a date, date. I will discuss about other data types. There's a date, data type. They all come into single quotes. Only number come without single quotes. Let, let me insert the data. You can see this data inserted into the system. One row inserted. Data inserted. If I go and see, select star from employee, I can see this data into the system. Right. Let me insert another data. I'm writing here, for example, two. I'm writing an example, this data. I'm trying to insert. Let's see what happened. It gives me error. See here what I'm telling you. You have to learn. This error is very common error when coming from the new log file fails. Just read this error in your in your language. Try to translate it. Value too large for column. This table dot this column. Employee table employee name column actual 16 this is actually 16 character and maximum 10 is allowed you are trying to insert more than this it gives error value too large for column if you make this is what capacity this is capacity if you make them less then data will be inserted less data will insert into the system let's say this here less data will be inserted into the system if you insert like this then data will be inserted for example male female data insert into the system next interview question can i insert a where care into number can i insert a string into the number like this is number column can i insert a string like here a b c d in string means single quotes can i insert it here i am trying to insert it give me error invalid number you cannot insert a string into number this is next interview question can i insert a where care a string into number column you cannot it gives error that invalid number okay next interview question can i insert a number into a string i'm inserting five in number into this variable character can, when i discuss any topic always remember discussing each and every scenario all permutation and combination of question can be possibly asked sometimes we focus on the you know, tough questions, important questions, but don't discuss scenario-based questions, right? So focus on base thing. Can I insert a number into where care? Let's see this. Yes, I can insert a number into where care, but I cannot insert a where care into number. Data inserted. Now see this table. Select a star from employee. I have this data. If I'm writing here, select a star from employee where where is the filter condition where suppose e name is equal to this or suppose sex is equal to m what is this m. what is happening there is only one record select the staff employee means all record employee table where is what where is a filter i don't want all record for example if i just go here i'm writing amazon.com if I go here, for example, Amazon.com, 
and I try to go and write it here, for example, laptop. You will give me all the laptops. But I don't want all the laptops. Suppose I want to choose here brand Lineo. When I click Lineo, it means only Lineo will display. Number of record will be less. You can see only 4,000 record display. I make, where is the filter condition? So I can filter. Price is, suppose, uh, Windows 11 Home. I click this. My total record, you can see this 4,000. Where is the filter? Which filter the record? I'm just going to click here, Windows 11 Home. My record is less, 385. So where is the filter? Filtering the data. I don't want everything. I wear this condition. Where this condition. I'm matching the record. Suppose again I want and a screen will be 17 inch and above. Record will be more or less 51. So where is the filter? Select a star on the record. Where work as a filter. I'm filtering the data. It can give me the data as it is. I can getting only one record now. If I don't use this where condition and just only this, I can get in all the records. Suppose I'm writing here where e name is equal to five. See this record, everyone. E name is equal to five. Invalid number. You can see this error. Invalid number. But actually, into the e name column, we have this five data exist because five exist e name column. But I'm writing e name is equal to five. It gives me error. You know why? This is the concept question coming into the interview. Scenario based question. Because this num can I insert and um, uh, let me go back to the previous Single question. Code. Can I insert a number into where care? Yes, you can insert a number into where care, but you cannot insert where care into number that I understand. You can insert a number into where care, but once this number come here, this become a once you come to my family, you have to follow my custom. Remember? What happened? Normally in marriage scenario in all in all over world. Normally I'm specifically basic for Indian community. If you come to my family, you have to follow my custom. So you came to my family, you are a number, maybe before, but once you come to my family, you have to follow my custom. You become a character. I you inserted as a number, but when I write here single quotes five, it will start giving the data. So question is. Can I insert a where care into number? No. Can I insert a number into where care? Yes. But once you try to fetch the data, that number behave as a character. Because once you come to my family, you have to behave like you have to behave like a where care. You become a character. You become a character. You have to work as a character. Next question coming here. Right. See, this, this is a question, a very good question coming in interview. Can I insert a number into where care? Yes, you insert a number into where care. But when you try to fetch the data, that number should be fetched via single quotes because that number become a character. Now you come to my family, you have to follow my custom. Remember that. Never forget it. See this next question. Many interview interviewer are say, or you can find on the Google, there is a very common question difference between where care and where care too. Normally, we everywhere writing where care to. There are many websites. Uh, again, I'm telling you, whenever you follow any basic, always go to the, you know, the documentation, either Microsoft documentation, IBM documentation, Oracle documentation, Informix documentation, Postgre documentation. Never go random website like somebody or somebody writing a blog on Stack Overflow. And Stack Overflow is to solving your queries. You are writing, you are writing some query, got some technical problem. That is okay. But for for, but for your, you know, concept, never follow any random website. For concept, always go documentation. Now, people are saying where can where care to is, you know, different. Where can store null values, where can to not store null values. I'm again giving you this answer, right? And always give the same answer to the interviewer. Where can and where can to both are, and understand it here. Both, let's first understand character also. Then I come to this question. Care. Care also is stored data into the single quotes. Then what is the difference between care and where care? What is the difference between care and where care? Care means if you go to the Google, people can, it is written answer. Where care means variable character. Care means fixed character. This answer, that's okay. 
I am not saying is wrong. Answer is correct. But let's see. Let's see the diff in front of you. Actually, it, how, why it is variable character? Why it is fixed character? Let me see this data. Before the data we insert into the table. Before that, let me show you. There is one function called length function. Length function gives you the length. Database is pure English. Length means length. Everybody knows about it. If I am just writing here, select length of. I am writing my name, Vishal. Well, yeah, L C T. It will give you the give you the total length six character six one two three four five six. I am writing here anything. I am writing this. It will give me the length forty four. Length is the character which gives you length. I will use this length to let you know the difference between care and where care. Let's see this here. I have the data. Select staff from employee. Right. Let me. Print you something here to see the difference between where can can. I am writing employee name, comma, length of employee name, comma sex, comma length of sex from employee. See this data, everyone. We know that when I create this table, this e name is a where can column. Right, and this sex is a character column. We know about it. Everybody know about it. We just created this. The difference between both of them: character is a fixed length that I learn. Variable character is a variable character length. Once I created this table, you can see that I created where care to ten. Means I told that maximum capacity is ten. This is a capacity. But once I create, if you see, this name is total seven character. It only took a space of seven. Rest three is free. I am not taking extra memory. This five is just one character as a length. I am I am giving this name as a where care to ten. Means total ten capacity I allowed, but actually take only one. But in case of sex, I am storing one one one. But take whole four four four. Whatever I have given here four, it will store four. You know why? So let's say I am selecting here. It take three extra space. It never leave any space. Suppose I create one more table in front of you. You can see that employee one table, and make character twenty. Let's see this. Insert employee one. Values this. Employee one. Let's see this length. What is happening? See this. Sex is actually character twenty assigned. It will take whole twenty space. One space and nineteen space padding with blank. So character is taking extra space. How much space you given? It's fixed length. It will utilize all the space. Length is twenty. All space it used. But in case of variable character, I tell you that you are ten. But if you use only one, it use only one. Rest nine is free. Rest nine is free. Right? Understand it? Till here. Any confusion? No, it's not. Oh, no. Now come here. The difference between where care and where care two. Important question: where care and where care two. People get confused on this particular question. I am giving this answer from documentation. Give the same answer to the interviewer when somebody can ask him. There is no difference. There is no difference between where care and where care two in Oracle. However, it is advisable that not to use where care for storing data. We are not using varchar. We are still using only varchar two. It is advised not to use varchar because varchar is still in the development stage. Oracle as a company is still working on varchar to make in future use to insert some data or some specific type of data that is still in the future use. Currently, there is no difference between varchar and varchar two. If some some websites are claiming that they can store null, they cannot store null. It is all wrong information. Never give this answer. Always give there is no difference between where can where can two as per Oracle documentation. However, it is advised that not to use where can for storing data. It is reserved for future use for storing data other type of variable. So use where can two. Always use where can two to prefer because can is again fixed length. It will take a lot of memory space. So always try to use where can two is. Preferable, but no difference between where can where can to where can is 
is for future use is still in development stage got it now see this another question into the interview enter ask another question this was scenario based question for everybody i have a table my table contains a column balance everyone see this question scenario based question balance column balance is a column which is stored the total balance but what i want i want if everybody insert the data the data will be inserted into the rounded values like somebody can insert 1378 it insert the data as a 1400 if somebody insert 1207 it insert data 1200 somebody inserted 1223 it insert data 1200 I mean data automatically ins inserted data into the rounded format insert data into the rounded format how to do that somebody can say sir i will first insert the data because this data coming from the user and then i will write my query to make it rounded may and second same question asked me in the second way can we create a table with negative precision precision means what once we create a table like number column number by default sub, suppose in case of where care to where care to i make it this capacity 10 20 30 500 whatever capacity we are giving in case of number normally we are not giving capacity but you can give it if you write number five that only number five will be stored only five digit number will be stored more than five it will give error for example let me tell you the table you can see i'm giving a table create table xyz i'm writing suppose id number four four uh, whatever written is said this is become a capacity see here table created I want to insert into XYZ values. Suppose this record. What is happening? What is the error? Value larger than specified precision. You are saying that you insert only four. And what you are inserting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven digit. This is not allowed. If I just insert four digit, 1000, it will insert if i don't give anything it means by default it is 32 length it will insert into the system but this number is called precision and scale this number is called suppose i'm writing 5 comma 2 5 comma 2 means what suppose i'm writing another table def it means what this 5 comma 2 means what this 5 is called this 5 is called precision this 2 is called scale this five is called precision this two is called scale precision means total number of digit five total number of digit is equal to five and two means after decimal i have two records if you want to specify after decimal i want two records suppose i want to insert def i'm inserted 100.32 let's see this this data inserted into the system right this data inserted into the system total five one two three four five after decimal i have two records suppose i'm changing this record to this number of digit become six let's see what is happening it gives error because i said total digit five you are saying six it is not allowed because number is only five allowed total two is after decimal interview question is two interview questions i told you first can i make this table negative precision suppose minus two is it possible and second question what i said if i want my data to be inserted in a rounded way user inserted 1378 data insert 13 1400 round value user inserted 1402 data go to 1400 data insert into the rounded format it can be achieved via negative precision see this i'm creating a table test table created first answer can i create a table with negative precision yes you can create a table with the negative precision as well but this minus two means what you know what minus two means two means two zero two zero means suppose i'm written five minus two two means two zero means nearest 100 if i make it minus 3 3 means 30 nearest 1000 we automatically do that let's see i'm trying to insert a data i'm writing insert into test values i'm inserting suppose 1208 see this here 
I am inserting 1208. I am running the data. One row inserted. Do you want to see the data into the table? Select star from test. Let's see what is happening. Insert record 1200. I inserted 1208. It inserted 1200. I inserted, for example, 1389. Let's see. Select star from test. It will insert 1400. You can see that what is happening? Data will be nearest 100 because minus 2. If I make it minus 3, it is here. Minus 3. means nearest 1000. Whatever you want, you can insert the data. Let's see this. Test 1. Test 1. 1389. Insert 1389. Go to the table. You can see nearest 1000 is 1000. If I make it 1589, nearest 1000 is 2000. Are you getting my point, everyone? Questions can be come in two specific way here. First question. Can I insert? Can I create a negative precision in creating a table? Can I do that? Yes, you can do that. But in case of negative precision, this is not for decimal. It will round the data. Minus 2 means near rounding the data till next 100. Minus 3 means rounded the data till next 1000. Minus 4 means next 4000. Minus 1 means next 10. Minus 1, 1, 0. Minus 2, 2, 0. Minus 3, 3, 0. Minus 4, 4, 0. Simple. So, second question. Come in. They can ask a question do different way. Some people get, sir, I will insert the data, what user is saying. Then I will write another command to update to the nearest 100. Then I will do. Don't do that. It's all about database design level question. Because whatever user insert, I want my data into a particular rounded format. I can make negative precision. Whenever you choose any topic, go with all permutation combination of question can be possibly asked. Let's see this one more, one more question here. Modify table. I want to finish this small thing today so that tomorrow when you go to the more bigger and good questions. Suppose modifying table. I just create a table. If everybody can see that, select star from employee. This table I just created. Table created. See the scenario question coming here. Modify means change. Modify means change. You can modify anything. Like I want to modify this particular, suppose uh, I'm writing a DSC. DSC means describe the table. DSC will tell you that what my table structure is. So this table created as employee ID column, type number. This is where I to 10. This is age number, sex character. All this thing will be happening. Let's see this two very important question here. A very important question. Modifying table, everybody know. For example, I want to insert data into this table. Insert into employee. Values, I am inserting, for example, employee ID 23 employee name suppose a big name i'm giving so that it will give error age i'm inserting 45 sex i'm inserting mail i run this table it will give me error value too large for column why because employee name column actual 15 i'm trying to insert and basically maximum 10 allowed it give me error okay so what is happening what can we do can we modify because this data coming from the user Somebody user is entering the table data means Facebook cannot call me specifically. Hello, Vishal. Change you are doing your username. This don't do this. Right. I either I have to do something according to them or I have to change the tables. What can I do to change the table? Modify the table. Can we increase and decrease? Let's see. Understand the question. Can I increase and decrease the size of a table? Yes. Let's see this. What the tricky question coming for all experience level and how to answer this question. I can increase. It's give an error because it needs 15. I'm inserting. It need, and it has only 10. It gives error. Let me go and modify the table. I'm writing an alter table table name. Alter table table name. Modify. I'm going to modify this which column? Employee name column. Care care to Suppose 15. I wrote 15. It modifying in previously this. If you can see the DSC employee, it is currently where I to 10. When I'm modifying this, this become 15. So first of all, yes, I can change the size. Interview question. Let's see everyone here. Can I 
increase or decrease the size understand how to answer it yes we can increase increasing the size is straight forward very fast but decreasing is not straight forward decreasing reduction the size it always slow why i am let me tell you show you here i try to insert the data data inserted right suppose i want to go and try to decrease the data decrease the size suppose i want to decrease the size to first let me increase to 20 data increase as it is table altered data size increase increasing is straight forward 20 i want to decrease it to for example suppose 17 i can decrease it at well as well data decreases size decreases i go here i can see 17 i can try to make it 14 let's see what happened it gives error understand this question somebody can ask you can you modify the size of a column or can we change the size your answer will be yes sir we can do modify column we can increase and decrease both increasing is straightforward there is no problem but decreasing or size reduction is slow because it will check each and every data remember this line it will check each and every suppose my table contains one million record my this decreasing will check one million record one by one if any record contains more than this size it will give error cannot decrease column because some value is too big in this table there is one value who is more than 14 so that's why it's not able to decrease it so increasing is straightforward super fast but decreasing it's slow and time taking process so always advisable to do into the downtime decreasing is not straightforward it always advisable to do into the downtime that's why we are doing decreasing we cannot do decrease straight forward remember this line remember this answer in case we can change can we add a column can we add a column yes select staff or employee we can see that i want to add an address column interview question is here i have a table my table contains one million record and after this in this sprint my client want to add one extra column that is address column can we do that yes sir i can do that because you can modify alter table table name add column column will be what the interview question is what is the impact of my one million record my table already contains data i have a table that table contains one million record in an interview they will always ask you 1 million 5 million 10 million they never ask you i have a table content 10 record 5 record 100 records no never interviewer always ask you 1 million 5 million 10 million records in my table so what is happening what happened with my table when i'm doing this can i update can i add a column what happened with my previous record so let's see when i add a column here that i'm adding it alter table alter table table name add suppose i want to add address add address where to 100 i am telling to the database that alter this table add one more column that will be where to 100 if my table contains one record or one million record does not matter once you add a new column the new column will be added with null values table altered you can see this here data come data populated with this column as a null 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 so data populated with the null value interviewer say i don't want to come into null value i don't want this null value i want data comes with some because already the previous record this records already inserted into the table i want this column should be a proper value so what you can do so some people can give sir i can first add the column then i will update this column you don't have to update it at the time of entering the data so i'm writing an address type i write it here default suppose residential residential for example that's okay so a new column will be added with a varical 200 and default value residential all the previous record who exist into the system for those a value residential will be copied you can see this here select star from employee
all data copied. So if my table contains millions of records, and if you insert a new column, the new column has no impact of the previous value, that insert the value with null, 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 null. If I want all previous record have some column, right? I have to add default. Whatever the default value want, it automatically inserted and defaulting the value here. One by one by one, all columns. Got it? Understand? Any confusion till here? No, we shall. We are good. No, sir. Okay. Yeah, clear. We shall. Okay, just just give me one question. I'm giving a very important question today. Drop column. But my daughter class is changed. So just give me one second. Let me inform her. Just give me a second. Sorry. Now there is one of the most important question coming into the interview. How to drop a column, right? I'm telling you, ninety-nine percent of the public giving this answer wrong. 99% of the public in the interview will say, sir, alter table, table name, drop column, column name. I can drop the column, right? Let's see, if I'm trying to drop a column here, it will drop. Alter table employee, drop column address, column drop. But how to give answer? Column drop. If I go here and select the staff from employee, you can see this here. Column is gone, address column. But how to answer? This is specifically for the people more than four year experience. How to answer this question? This question is just to check for people more than 10 year, 15 year experience. This question is to check how good your knowledge is. Uh, dropping a column, we should never drop a column like this. If my tape is a very expensive operation, if, you, if you're talking about production, your table contains millions of records, you cannot drop a column, alter table, table name, drop column, column name. It is very in very expensive operation. The table storing millions of data, it will take a long time to run. This day one contains a long time to run. It will block all change of the database, block hold the table, and your application may be un unusable for it sometimes. So you never do that. So if you're dropping a column, it is the best option to make this column unused. How to do this? Let me tell you here. Let me add this column again. Alter table, table name, add address, where care to 100. Let's see this column. I'm adding this column. This table contains this column. I have to drop. Never drop this column. Other than dropping, you have to use set unused. I'm writing here, see. Alter table, table name, alter table, table name, set, unused, column, address, alter table, table name, set, unused, column, address, table altered. This is a quick operation, instant operation, no matter how many records in your table, your table contains one record or one billion record, does not matter, it's an instant operation, it will Take the same amount of time, either my table contains five records or five million records. It will be quick because setting unused will be not removing it physically. It will just make the remove the column from you unavailable. The data is still exist, but for the time being, it will be unused. It's set unused. And remember, the question asking the interviewer, okay, can I set unused? Can I make it back? Remember the base concept of alter? What is alter is a DDL. DDL is auto commit. Once something is committed, you cannot roll back. Base concept never change. The, I'm writing alter command. Alter means DDL. DDL means auto commit. Auto commit means something is committed. We cannot roll back. If something is altered, you cannot revert it back. So if a table contains this, what you can answer? Dropping a column. We can do that. Alter table, table name, drop column, column name. It is, but it's a very expensive operation. If my table contains millions of data, so my it will take a lot of time to complete because it go and physically remove all the data from the table, from the database. It will take a lot of time. On the such amount of time, maybe my database will be unusable. 
maybe my table will be blocked nobody can do any operation so it always advisable to do alter table table name set unused column address you can make that column unused when we make that column unused it will be instant operation does not matter my table contains one record or one billion record it will take the same amount of time and my column this is how you have to answer remember that i am telling you again in your life if you are very lucky then maybe after 10 15 years you get a chance to run this command in your real time scenario but in interview they are asking you to test do you really understand how database behave have you ever worked on millions of record why interviewer ask you the question my table contains 10 million 5 million 8 million because they just want to test have you worked on millions of record or not they cannot tell my table contains 5 record 10 record 20 record 100 record no interview always based on 50 million 100 million 10 million and remember concept is same if you program work for one record it work for 1 billion record as well just know how to answer this question so what i'm doing here nikhil one second what i'm doing here alter table table name set unused when i'm setting unused it is an instant operation it instant operation it will take same amount of time it instantly your data will start working but this particular column this particular column is become unused now okay so we already already unused this particular column become unused when on the downtime when something downtime done then you can then dba will come and dba will do alter table alter table employee drop un drop unused columns all unused column will be dropped on that day when downtime will be there any weekend or something when downtime is there we can go and unuse that column nikhil you can ask your question before i moving on this unused you are asking some question nikhil no okay so sir, i have one question sir saying something yes sir uh, i have one question uh, mm-hmm. let's suppose if i write uh, varchar 2 in bracket 10 char is there any difference between varchar 2 10 and varchar 2 10 char so by default you take byte the char and byte i will discuss about how you take space in the memory it's all about your is all about your capacity how much taking by default you take byte right Yeah, I will discuss sir. about this memory yeah. when I go to, when I reach to that point. Okay, we are going okay. step okay. by step each topic. When I discuss one topic, I will discuss this question for sure. Don't worry, I will discuss that question yes. for sure. Okay. okay. So let's okay. see. I'm talking about the dropping column unused. So when this question come, right? Drop a column. So never say drop a column. Always say into the interview that don't drop the column. Set that column unused. What you are doing? You are make yourself different from this ninety nine percent of the public. set that call and this is a better option because set unused call is instant operation now for example let's see this here i'm adding this table if i make this column unused how do you know which column is unused like say i'm writing set unused column right how dba knows that which column is unused so there is a table called select star from dba underscore unused underscore column underscore tabs you don't have to know about it but i'm just giving you for your interview purpose dba unused column tabs i think the table name is correct no something is mistake dba unused call tabs unused call tab maybe some column name select star from dba unused maybe it's a free database that's not able to access let me one second Maybe I make some column table name wrong. I don't think so. But it's still, yeah, DB unused column. The table name is correct. DB unused call tabs. Okay, maybe in this free environment, I'm not able to use that. But when you go to select DB unused column tab, it describes all the tables that have contains unused columns. So DB will go there and alter table table name, drop unused columns. It will drop all the unused column from here. once you are doing the work of deleting the data it will take a long time the key difference here of dropping unused column is when i dropping this unused column it again take time but the difference between dropping unused column and dropping column directly is that dropping unused column is not blocking your application because your application is not attached with this column already this column is already unused 
instant unused your table is not used at all so if you on the weekend once you try to do that right at that moment of time your application is not blocking your application can continue to run as normal and you can drop that unused column from the back end but when you drop the column it will take a lot of time main difference between this somebody ask you somna ask your question yeah so basically for unused columns uh, if i am dropping it it doesn't block the table right it doesn't lock the table right when i'm dropping it yes when this is the main key difference right once mm -hmm. you take that dropping unused column it is a non blocking operation because the reason okay. is what is happening here somnath once i alter the table alter means auto commit means this particular column is set already unused this particular column is set already unused you can see this address invariant identifier now this column not exists at all but it just take a space into my database it still contains data i want to free my space i can go some day and just drop that unused column when i drop unused columns all unused column will be dropped at that time it will take time again because it removing all the data from the database but now my employee table is which is used by any other application it is non blocking operation it will not blocked at all so when this question come dropping a column always give answer of set unused always give answer like this because in 12c there is a, there are many many new concepts coming into the database right always prepare for the new thing i am telling you again why today if i go here i am telling you oracle let's see i am giving a oracle 9i launch date oracle 9i launched in 2001 today is 2023 and still people are using 90% of the project work we still coding like 99 nine, 22 years maybe most of you maybe not born maybe 2 year 3 year old that time people are still doing the same coding they never change the code still we have so many new things come we have to utilize the new technology to make our code faster we have iphone 14 in the market why not people using iphone 5 both are same it also take pictures whatever five contains the picture you can use the same picture in iphone 14 to see the picture technology change a base concept never change but 14 is faster with new technology new features i can make so many play with my uh, photo app rather than i can do in my iphone 5 right so many new things are coming so this is the base concept and the concept never change never but so can new we technology make uh, new Sorry, Vishal. Can can we make uh, uh, unused to use? No, uh, that's I give you. What give answer? I wrote a command. Let's see. What I, this is a good question. I give this answer. I think you missed. Alter, alter is what? DDL. DDL is what? Auto commit. Commit means what? I cannot roll back. So if I if I do something alter, you cannot roll back. It is a one way traffic. It will not two way. I cannot come back. No. If you make something alter means done. Bye, sir. अब नहीं हुआ कुछ. Done. Finish. You cannot revert back. So remember this. Can I make the good question? People can ask this question in interview. Okay, I can make unused. Can I make a use again? No. Why no? Because you run an alter command. Alter is DDL. Basic concept of the DDL is what? Something is auto commit and something is committed. We cannot roll back. Good question, Sachin. This question can be asked in the interview. And answer is because alter command you cannot revert back. the new concept invisible column invisible is a new concept of oracle 12c invisible means what mr india and we know about mr india anil kapoor right whenever he wear that watch nobody can see him same invisible column nobody can see him even if i do select star from my table my column will not come why we use invisible column why to provide security i don't want anybody to see my data to improve the security in short right one of the benefit if you learn about views when we we learn about view materialized view in the next in the very after that lectures what is view we create view to improve our security main reason of creating view is to security implementation view is a very old concept from 12c they are coming the concept of column level concept invisible column we make that column invisible let's see this i'm giving one concept here is with example create table test why i'm giving this all the examples will you all will receive in the notes today don't worry everything will be copied i'm creating a table suppose test table 
Suppose I'm creating a table, suppose test one table, test two table I'm created, right? I'm writing it, suppose column one number, right? Comma. I'm writing it here, column two number. I'm writing here, column three number. Just write it invisible. When I write it invisible, it becomes Mr. India. Let's see. Done. Data inserted. Table created. Let's see. I'm insert one data into the table. Insert into test two. Insert into test two. So I'm inserting column one, comma column two. Values. I'm inserting, for example, one, comma two. Data inserted. I'm writing here. Select star from test two. What somebody can call it star. Somebody can call it all. Select all from test two. It will give me all the records of test two table. Let's see what happened. It only gives you two columns. Column one, column two. It is not appear at all. Invisible column is a new concept come with Oracle 12C to improve the security. Before that, we have only one option of creating views. But by using invisible concept of 12C, we make that column invisible. Even if I do select a star, my table will not come. My, sorry, my particular column will not come here. It will not come here. It will not come here. Right? Even if you do, do this here, not only column two, column three. Suppose I'm writing, forget about this. I'm not specifying. I'm inserting, suppose, column three, column four. Let's see this here. One row inserted. This particular table contains three columns. One, two, three. I'm inserted only two values, but it will no error at all. Data inserted. I cannot see the column. But if if some person who knows about the column, if he write column one, comma column two, comma column three, if I specify the column name in the select, then only you can see the column. Otherwise, you cannot. Invisible column. How do you know that invisible column? We have a table. How do you know? In the data, whenever we install the database, there is a column user tab column. Select star from user tab columns where table underscore name is equal to test two. For one second, table where table column w h e r e where table is called test two. In this particular table, there is a column called hidden. Uh, let me show you. Let me take this column name here. Suppose I'm writing here, select column ID, column name, comma hidden column, hidden underscore column. Hidden column is a column. If I go here, it will tell you, yes, this column is a hidden column and database will not assign any column id to this particular column as well this particular column as well right you can commit here why this topic is important sometimes there's a question coming before going to this concept again there's a question i'm discussing it here once we have any table once we have any table like for example let's see this here create table a everybody can see this question id this question is very common in the interview ID number, name, where care to, 20. Right? Table A created. So A1. Create table A1. My table create. Once my table create, it means first column is ID column, second column is name column. I want to add a new column. Once I add a new column, it means I'm adding an alter table, table name. Add, suppose I want email column, where care to 20. What is happening? This new column will add it in the last. There's no confusion at all. And let me do DSC, A1. If I'm describing this table, I can see. Mm -hmm. I can see first column is ID and name. Third column is email. My question is, I want my column, email column should be after ID or before name. Normally in database, this is a very common question in the interview. Normally in database, whenever we create a new column, the new column will be added into the last. New column will add it into the last because whenever you create any column, database will assign. Suppose I can see this particular query I'm telling you here. Move this hidden column. Table name is equal to A1. 
Whenever a new column will be added, data will, will base will be assigned a column ID, column ID one, column ID two, column ID three. So when the new column come is come to the next column. My question is, I want my this column first, my email column first. So what can we do that? This is by using concept of invisible column. Because if you know about invisible column, what is invisible column? You can't see that column, and database will not assign any column ID to this column. We can use this feature to make this column first. How can you do that? Let me see how can do this. I am writing this. Alter table even modify whatever I want to change. I can modify modify my what column name? What the column I created? Yes, name. Modify name as invisible. Can I make the column invisible at the time of table creation, or I can after that I will do. After that also you can do. You can write alter column, alter table, table name, modify name invisible. This column become invisible. This column become invisible. When this column become invisible, then what happen? This table does not contains any column ID. Let's see this. I am going here. This column automatically come here. No ID at all. After that, then email contain email get ID number two. Then I can make this column again visible. Vishal, can we revert back it to visible? Yes, I can make it alter table table modify name visible. I can make it visible again. I can go to now. Now you know what happened. My name comes. My email on number second. Name come on number third. If I do a select star from A one, let me show you. Select star from A one. Okay, there is no data insert into the A one actually. You cannot see. But A one now this column become number two. This column become number three. Let's see this here. One is ID column. Two is email. Three is name. What question I discuss? Let me repeat the last topic for today. Let me let me repeat it again. I am discuss about the concept of invisible column. Invisible column is a new concept of Oracle. 12c it used to improve security when i make that column invisible at the time of table creation i just write it invisible it means this column is invisible nobody can see that at the time of insert the record if you don't specify it will no error select a star from a table it will no error if you know the column name and if you write in the select statement then only this column will be appear how do we know that if you go to Hidden column. There is a user tab columns in data dictionary. In that, there is a hidden column is a column which contains which can tell this value is yes. I mean this column three is yes. This has database not assign any column ID. On based on that, I discuss a scenario based question that can I add a new column into the this scenario based question? Can we add a new column in a table on a specific position without dropping the table? Like this is my table. In this table, my first column is ID, second column is name. When I add a new column, this column go to the last. My question is, I want to add this column on a specific position, like after ID, I want to add, right? Second position. But actually, normally we cannot. So what people can do? It is happening in all the project. You can see in your project it happens. People will drop the column, drop the table, and create the table again. We insert the data. Take a lot of time. People are doing. No need to do that. Just make this particular column is invisible. When I make this invisible, the column ID gone. It automatically email is promoted to number two. Then I make this column again visible. Column is now DSC. If I don't add DSC A one, my column ID one is ID. Second is email. Third is name. Email automatically become the second column because I make this name invisible. Name come down. Email go first. Got this topic? Got the got, understand the concept of invisible column? So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll discuss about the virtual columns, the new concept, virtual columns, delete, truncate, drop, all these things we're discussing tomorrow. Okay, and always remember, I go with always base concept. Now, yes, Arjit, ask you, give me one minute. I always go to the base concept, starting with the base. We'll go with all permutation and combination of the question that can be possibly asked. Each and everything you will, whatever we discuss, you receive in the notes by today. Okay, each and everything only my notes are enough to crack the interview. I'm repeating it again, but but yes, I'm focused. My first five lectures is on base concept, on the primary key, foreign keys. There are so many questions coming in the interview, and people give you wrong answers. Why we wrote unique constant, a unique index both? Can I create a two primary keys? How to do that? 
can is it possible to make a unique key with null value why it is not a same null value all small questions will discuss each and every topic all permission comes question will discuss you will receive notes by today yes arjit i am done for today's session you can ask your question arjit yeah i have a question regarding the hidden column which you discussed mm -hmm. so uh, suppose, uh, i have hidden a column okay now is it possible for any of the user or do you need any special uh, permission to view the column because it is oh, after all you are storing certain a uh, record in that hidden column which might be of uh, high security that is a hidden hidden it okay. but later if you want to uh, really want to view the what the content maybe you are fine you are not uh, allowing every uh, every user to look, you know, look at it but suppose i am a special user which and i should be having access to that so you must know the column name you if you specify the column name in your select statement you are able to see the data Okay. In invisible uh, column, if you specify the column name, like here I specifying column one, comma column two, the column three. If you specify, you are able to see the data of column three. Content, content is visible, right? Yes, yes. I'm not inserting anything. That's why content not visible. If you insert, okay. it is coming. If I make it a star, right? If I make it a star, then only the two, these two columns are coming. The normal user, if you don't know the column, they cannot see this. If you want to see the column, you can go to this particular user tab column data dictionary. There is a hidden column which let us know which columns are hidden. It is say you in this particular table, column number three is a hidden column. Yes. Uh, can this hidden column have not null constraint? Whatever you, I, I will discuss what constraint. I will do this not null column. Yes, constraint is constraint means yeah. what? I will discuss constraint. Don't worry. I will go topic by topic. No, when I discuss constraint, constraint. Yes, yes, you can. Constraint means what? Constraint means a rule. I if I am forcing a rule that there is a constraint, you cannot go outside. There is a there is a. Uh, uh, it is raining. Means it's constraint. You cannot go out. This is a constraint. So, in Corona in COVID, we can't go out because it's constraint of government policy. Not only is a constraint. I am making a rule that you cannot insert null values. Database is so uh, it is a uh, it is a column with not null constraint, and I'm inserting uh, data into the table, and uh, I'm not mentioning this hidden column's name. Then it should fail, right? De definitely, if insert if null, yes, definitely it will fail. Null data you can't insert. The rule is coming. This is a concept. When I discuss constraint, I come to that topic maybe the next weekend. I will tell you, constraint is a rule. When I make this rule in the database level, you can't do means you cannot do some rules. We have to follow. There are five constraint: primary constraint, foreign constraint, unique constraint, not null constraint, check constraint. Every constraint is a rule, and we have to follow that rule. So I will go by topic by topic. Don't worry about it. If anybody any confusion, they all can ping me automatically. Then Vishal, I have this question. If oh, you have Vishal, any your project, you can let me know. Okay, I'm ah, also available. Sir. Just one second, Sachin. I'm available even to one to one if you needed any help in your work. But I want you all to come into the class to learn, right? To learn, you can ask this question open forum in the group. In every group, wherever you are, at least fifty people from from my batch, they all get a jobs. Even two year experience from fifty lakhs to forty lakhs, all people are here. You can go that. Try to learn from wherever you learn. I'm telling you. Go with the base concept. Start with scratch. Go one by one. It took maximum one month, and you will finish all the topic. Then we go for interview. Never go for question answer. When you start giving answer tomorrow, class when discuss about delete and truncate, I will let you know. It's a very common question. People give the so wrong answers, and they start giving answers from what are written in the Google, right? And it is very easy for anybody to catch you. You are coming from the Google. You have to deliver your concept. That you have to learn. I am may be mainly focus on four things: your base concept, how to write SQL, how to answer, and what to do for performance tuning. This is my four things which I focused, and I can guarantee for it, you will get more than ninety five percent question in interview exactly same from the notes. Only my note. Don't I even the people in my batch? I'm telling them very straightforward. Don't open Google. Don't open any other thing other than my notes. Only my notes. Go for interview. Only my notes. Go for interview. This is all you have to follow. Yes, Rakesh, you have a question. Sachin, I'm coming to you one second. Uh, okay, ask okay. <laughs> Hi, sir. Uh, Rikat, invisible column. I have one doubt. Uh, mm -hmm. Suppose I am. Uh, In I have logged in as user A and I have created an invisible column. 
suppose user B uh, don't know the column name and uh, he is uh, selecting uh, in the select statement in place of user underscore tabs underscore tables he is using all all means uh, from all mm -hmm. the users is uh, querying mm -hmm. that all invisible tables are there or not can you able to see it yes because in in a in a real time production environment like this if you are working in a project if you can go and see everybody does not have access of these tables these are data dictionary even i am telling you in our project most of the users only the database architect have access of this user tab nobody have the access all tabs if you provide them access then only they can see otherwise they cannot see that so normal user like a developer or somebody else who is doing the testers or the i if i if i give my application somebody to use it they don't know what is user tab columns what is all tab columns reason of implementing reason of implementing this is secure right we can do that sachin ask your question uh, vishal la mera question apna jo session hai wo total kitne lectures ka rahega matlab aur sorry what is that sachin ab me karo apna jo session hai matlab lecture hai kitne hour ka rahega matlab total 2 hours 1.45 to 2 hours yes matlab kitne one mein pura complete ho jayega 2.2 2 and half months okay theek hai chapter mein aur time we i will take 8 hours specifically for tuning at first 5 mm -hmm. lectures will 10 hours on basic concept sql writing i will take all only sql writing will take your 10 to 12 hours it will take 2 and half months okay our sample sample timing same rahega na yes 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 i will i will discuss okay. everything don't worry i will discuss about yeah. this everything don't worry about it okay. pradeep you have a question yeah vishal i want to know uh, do you cover uh, advanced uh, like everything uh, I, I i think i already sent an email with all the topic you whatever advance you want function procedure bulk collection no, no, packages no, no. Uh, yeah bulk collection everything collection. everything packages cursor package cursor everything cursor all the i yes. sent the email which the whole topic mentioned i think if you miss the email I, let me know like yeah, all the topic I mentioned i am telling you again i don't have any ppt i am not a professional trainer i am doing this to help somebody right Right, right. I'm doing this to help somebody. Nobody will give me money for this classes. I will let you know. You give to somebody else. I'm helping someone, right? And all I'm doing it here is I just want to deliver my experience. What I'm teaching from I took at least one thousand interviews. So I am I am just delivering what type of question they are asking, what we are expecting from the interviewer because we are getting trained. Our companies gives us training. Okay, you go for this. This type of question you should ask. This is what you have to you have to expect from the person. If he's giving this answer, it's okay. If he's not giving this, don't select that guy. So I am giving you that experience what I gain. Right, simple. I am not a professional okay. trainer. If you expect that Vishal has some PPT and he give you some PPT and word pad and something, I don't have it. You receive my notes today. You can see my notes. Whatever my notes are, exactly okay. same thing I am going to deliver. Right. So Vishal, so, uh, normalization topic also covered. Yes, man. No, my topic also covered. I will cover what normalization data modeling. I think I already sent an email to all of you. Open that oh, email. What topic? Uh, which I'll we didn't get that email. You can ping me your email ID on. Uh, you can ping your email ID on my WhatsApp. I will reply you back. Yeah, I will okay. store or otherwise I will revert back your e Vishal D B Dev. Yes, yes, that's okay. Five seven one four eight five 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 seven. This is my number. You plus one. Sorry. So you have this number. You can ping me WhatsApp on this number plus one five seven one four eight five 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 seven eight. I can revert you back any question if you have. Right. From tomorrow up to tomorrow session, you have a good understanding what is going on. As I show you here, everyone who joined late, at least let me show you again. Whatever we discuss here, you can see this here. Whatever we are discussing, everything we are discussing. Just like this, see, I am discussing triggers. This is our class. I am discussing trigger. This is what our notes are. Whatever we. you all get notes like this every topic it will be very helpful at the time of revision when you go for interview you just open the notes revise everything here is happening no impact what maybe my my spelling is mistake possible grammatical mistake is possible but i try to deliver whatever we discuss in the class everything coming here i try to write scenarios like this it may be something grammatical mistake is possible how do you know row level statement level just comment out everything i mentioned here in our session So our class, our batch, everything like I open anything. Suppose Pragma Automotive. I think many of you discuss my take my class Pragma Automotive. Everything will be here. I try to deliver. Maybe there is a grammatical mistake, but I try to deliver the thing. What is written here? 
sir <laughs> sir uh, yes. if sunday timings can be uh, reconsidered that would be really helpful as in yahan pe 2 baj rahe aapse discuss kiya tha main call pe maine uh, phone pe okay namas okay. naman main dekhta hu main kal ki class ko jane do let discuss after tomorrow session okay all good sir thank okay. you sir thank you thanks bye 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 everyone thank you sir thank you thank you thank you sir thank you vishal thank you vishal thank you vishal